I have a feeling they wanted that front logo to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Is that not the biggest freaking Amazon box you've ever seen? It, it really is. Look dude. at the size of this thing, dude. It's it, like, this is bigger than the boxes that Envy sends me when they send me three scooters. <laughs> this box is so big that we could actually even get like clips on it. You could. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh. It almost worked. Ooh. Dang it! <laughs> we got it for sure. Okay, we should probably open it. It's already halfway open now because of the front board and the manuals, but we might as well do the rest. May I? Go for it. Open her up. No! <laughs> I don't even remember what this is called, but I remember it was mad, mad clickbait. Well, it looks like a fashion deck. It looks like a straight up fashion deck, or, or, or even like a prodigy. Like it's a part of like the prodigy. It's almost like a prodigy knockoff. It just is a prodigy. It, it's literally like, but but look at this clamp though. The clamp is a shark clamp. Yeah. And oh my. The, the straight up shark clamp, dude. By the way, like an Envy like double forge clamp is not called a shark clamp. That's just what I call it. It's a forge clamp. Do we get any extra goodies? Uh, paper. Oh, nice. The crash, crash pad. <laughs> Amazon does make extra safe boxes, so you can literally use them for foam pits, crash pads. Everything. Houses. Dude, this could be a house. Mm -hmm. Pillow. I mean, it won't be comfortable, too, yeah. Too far? Too far. Wait, wait, wait. Blanket? Blanket? Look at that. There's a blanket in there. It's a full on bed set. Scooter. Alright, so this is called the Rip Rail Scoot. Uh, this was one of the most expensive Amazon scoots that I could get that wasn't like a, an aftermarket, like custom actual build. And nothing that was like an Envy, like a KOS or anything like that. So this is a, kind of an interesting scoot. Here's some of the things that it has on it. It has a threadless headset, which is obvious. It's got a forged head tube, again, kind of like a Fasten or a Prodigy. Some generic bars. But the fact that they're full oil slick is kind of nice, because I know that that's actually pretty expensive. It has 125 millimeter wheels. Which, I, usually scoots like this have hundreds or 110s, and I don't know if I believe that just yet. I, I have a I feeling know. it's going to be 110s, but hey, I, I've been wrong before. A back 9 bearings, obviously oil slick deck, and the um, NV Shark Clamp. Shall we? Shall. What is this? What the heck? These are octagon grips? <laughs> I've grip. never in all of my days ever seen an octagon grip. That is that's actually really weird. Dude, it's weird how they keep the grip on. Look, they put two. Oh, I mean they're, they're lock grips. Like I've seen that before. Lock on grips, but I've never seen an octagon grip ever. I'm, so I'm like tripping right. That's weird. That's weird, dude. Alright, let's pull the rest of the scoot out. Oil slick RS. So a lot of times when companies um, that kind of come out of the blue release scooters like this, usually it's like a factory in China that actually makes the scoot, offers it to a company and they're like, hey, we can sell you this and we can make X amount of them per month and the company be like, yeah, sure, sounds good. Usually there's not much actual design that goes into it by the actual company or this, it, this company is just the factory that makes it in China. That happens a lot too. Oh bro, those are 125s. They are 125, wow. That's, that's crazy. That's actually pretty crazy, dude. Yeah, like, crazy. I gotta give it to him. Like, I was not expecting him to have 125s, but these... I don't know about these octagon grips still. That's still really freaking weird. Yeah, that is weird. Is this an oil slick Allen? Yo, that's sick. That's actually freaking cool. I like that. Is there no owner's manual in there? That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Right oh, okay. There is one. Scratch that. Crap. Yeah, get this, get this thing out of here, bro. <laughs> that's literally the same exact design as the Fasten Deck. Just in case you were wondering, that's the front. Cause, cause yeah, I know no, I, sometimes yeah, you, get yeah, I you get confused. You get, I, I get confused sometimes too. But hey, it is what it is. So inspirational. When you believe, you will achieve. When you believe, you will. They had to say it twice. <laughs> yeah. When you believe, you will achieve. When you believe, you will achieve. When you believe.
I gotta give him that, dude. Doesn't sound like crap. It's pretty light. I mean, again, it's it's super thin. Like, look at the top right here. It's really thin, and that would um, bend really quickly. But I mean, I'm not riding this. The graphics long. sick, huh? The graphics sick. Warning. <laughs> Throw your trash away, kids. Shit. Steve -o, stop leaving your trash everywhere, dude. If you guys come to the skate park, any skate park, freaking pick up your trash. That's so, it's like one of my pet peeves is people just leaving their trash all over the place. Because look at this. Look at all this trash. Literally a trash can, like as a bag, right here. There's four of them hanging on the fence. It's not that hard. Don't be ridiculous. In typical scooter fashion, the headset's always too tight. You always gotta loosen I don't care what scooter it is, like you gotta loosen it a little bit and uh, kind of retighten it just to make sure it's not crazy. But um, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Th so this scooter was, I think it was 175 bucks. And again, it was like one of the more expensive uh, Amazon scooters that you could get that was not like a full on complete. There were some scoots that you could get for 200 bucks, but this one seemed like it was a lot better deal and it wasn't an Envy because obviously I, I've made plenty of videos on prodigies and stuff like that, but um, this one wasn't that. Uh, all in all, like for 175 bucks, come Compared to some other scoots, I mean, this is this is without me riding it, of course. From straight up going off of looks, I, I think there's other scooters out there that are much cheaper, that are a much better deal. If you're really going for that full oil stick thing, and you want some octagon grips, that I can say, you're not gonna get these anywhere else. But again, it's just like a China scoot. Nice. But they don't give you a, an Allen small enough. I don't think I have one. I don't. Like, I don't think I ha that's a three. I don't have one that small. Okay, well, it looks like we're riding some loose grips. If you do get the scooter, switch the grips out. Dude, bar twist. Yeah, you could bar twist the heck out of this thing, though. <laughs> I might actually have one. Hold on. Oh, dude, I might have one. Oh, bro, I got one. I got one. Let's go. We're in the game, boys. It wasn't even, like, close. Look at this. It wasn't even close to tight. And I just maxed it out. Damn, dude. Well, these grips aren't going to last very long. I can tell you that. I don't these know, are, man. These, I really, we really could make just a video on these grips. Yeah. Like for those of the people that don't see this video, the small octagon grip feature, we'll, we'll make another video with just those because I actually do want to kind of compare those to another grip. Yeah. How are you looking? Yeah, it's still moving. It's, it's still look at you can you can see because it's octagonish. I, I tightened it as much as it'll go without me actually snapping that bolt. So yeah, your Harley Davidson looks like, right there. Looks like we're we're Harley in today. <laughs> dude, that clamp. This clamp is straight. Up, oh no, they did not. Oh no, they did not, dude. Come on. See, this is when you know the people that make these kinds of scooters don't make scooters, and they have no idea what they're doing. This is when you know. Oh, bro. Come on, dude. Really, like. The double slit, that's the worst thing that you could possibly do to a scooter because it makes your bars like twice as weak. Because if you have a slit at all, it's technically weakening your bars a little bit. And look, it's like they changed their mind on how wide they should make it and the other one. <laughs> Bro. Like you changed your mind? Mid cut, you're like, hmm, this is, this is, this is too big. This, this isn't is, the move. This is too big. We need to make this smaller. Let's change that tooling really quick. And, but this side, they're like, oh yeah, that's the way. <laughs> like, and, and this was longer. Maybe one side was just like a test. Jesus. <laughs> I bet you if they didn't have this logo, they would have put it upside down somewhere too. Probably. But they did that just like, yeah. make it a little easier, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, their tolerances are okay. So that, that doesn't feel too bad. It didn't go on like, super loose. Is this how you rode back in the days? I rode 20 tall. 20 by 14, five. I rode like that for probably five or six years. Jesus. But dude, I was short. You wanna get a tight shot on this really quick? Sure. That's good right there. Dude, how long have I been spinning this? I, dude, this clan's gonna snap, I know it. <laughs> I know it, dude, I'm not kidding. Dude, I've been spinning this forever. <laughs> and it's not stripping, I can see the clamp closing, but it's gonna max out, oh my god. It's taking forever, dude. Forever. And so you know, it's like some super cheap aluminum. Watch, now this one's gonna be super loose. <sighs> Alright, that one's like almost maxed out. Hold up. Watch, I'm gonna tighten this one, and that other one's gonna have like another full turn in there. Alright, so this one is. That one's about maxed out. Jesus. Alright, I'm just gonna call it good. Alright, well, I've, I've maxed this clamp out. The grips are just. Not the grips good. are spinning, bro. Like, spinning. I've now maxed the clamp out, and it's still spinning, and look. It's about to touch. I mean, that's what you gotta do when you have two slits, yeah, I guess. Yeah, dude, apparently. Envy, let's make some double slit action. So we can close our clamps all the way. We should make a slit in my deck somewhere, too. <laughs> Quick question for you guys. If I made another signature deck, what color would you guys uh, like for it to be? 
Like I, I think it'd be really cool to have another SIG deck and I've obviously like, I'm always thinking about different colors and things like that. But what do you guys think would be cool? Let me know, comments below. I'm not gonna lie though, dude. Like I have to give credit where credit's due. It sounds pretty good. Yeah. Like it doesn't sound like it's gonna snap too fast. Dude, and it has 125s. Yeah, that's, 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 I'm still yeah, that's tripping crazy, on that. dude. I'm still tripping it has 125 yeah. mil wheels. And ABAC 9s. The grips I'm, I'm really upset with the grips, dude. Yeah. I, the, the shape of the grips is a trip. But I'm upset that they spin. Yeah. Like they should have just. I mean, I get it. Like if you guys wanted to make octagon grips, you can't really. I mean, you can. You can make a mold of them and and make just you know compressed air on or slide on grips that aren't like lock on grips, which lock on grips are the whole Allen wrench thing. But dude, come on. <laughs> like they're spinning, bro. Let's see how that headset works. Damn, it's, it's not actually bad. not bad. Yeah. I mean, there's there's no sound coming from it. It doesn't feel like super gritty, but I, I have a feeling these wheels, just because they're bigger, doesn't mean they're gonna be fast. I have a feeling they're gonna be really gushy and slow. Yeah, probably. And the glue on them is probably gonna be terrible. Dude, I have so, so many feelings about this. The grip's gonna fall off, the clamp's gonna snap. The grips are gonna fall off, dude. The bars are gonna snap, the clamp's gonna be upset. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> I think you made your point. Nothing. Let's get a couple quick lines on this thing and see how she rides. I just noticed something. I have a feeling they wanted that front logo to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> and not to mention, like, I just noticed this too. The scooter riders unite, dude. Dude, I hate it. Look at this. This from it, it's because it's sticking on a piece of candy. So annoying. <laughs> All right, so we'll start it off with like, what, like a double, triple? Triple. Triple. Oh God, the grip, dude. The grip? The grip just went As <laughs> soon as I jumped, as soon as I pulled up, she said I'm like I'm supposed got any flick on the grip tape. Wheels don't feel that bad, though. They I, don't? I, no. They feel pretty good? Yeah, they're all right. The grips move, dude. That's sketch. It's weird. I gotta hold on to like the inside right here. Otherwise, like, if that wasn't the case, I actually would've felt okay. I'm not yeah. gonna lie, dude, the wheels are actually not that bad. They're not like, and be good you know, or anything like that, or any like aftermarket wheel good, but they're not bad. Like they're actually kind of, they're kind of quick. Already? That's quick. I did one trick, dang it. All right, what's next? Three whip? Run scoop. No. <laughs> oh dude, the grips move. The grips are just like oh. As soon as you jump, I need to try to tighten these again. Hang on, time out. He's done it. That's probably the hardest scoop I've ever done. Really? Like, it's, they just like, this, it's the left one. It's the right one's okay, the last one's all bad. Okay, now what? Um, like 180 bry? Yeah. five? Out of the five? Or on the five? No, on the five. Okay. Oh, the bars are so short. <laughs> Let me try it again. Actually, Bry's pretty good. It does. <laughs> I must say. It's making all kinds of noises now, which it's funny because we usually joke about this, but my grips are loose. Nice. You want to try it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Straight to the triple. Straight to the triple. Come on. I need you to feel my pain with that that grip thing. It's not moving quite as much right now, but it's definitely still moving. Oh, I don't like it. They're so like hard too. They're like there's no such soft. No, it's grips. not soft at all. You might as well just take the grips off and hold the actual bars. Yeah. Yes. Hey, how are those wheels though? Ooh, ooh, I really felt it on that you one. You felt it? Yeah, I really <laughs> felt it on the heel. How do those wheels feel? They, they feel really good. They're actually, actually pretty good, dude. They're actually pretty freaking <laughs> not good. Bad at all. But like, damn, that grip sucks. That grip's bad, dude. I didn't that's feel that's really ruining good. the scooter right now. Yeah. It's straight up like everything else. It feels like it's okay. You know, it's it's like I wouldn't say like if somebody came to the shop, I'd be like, oh, this thing's a piece of crap. You know, like yeah. I, I wouldn't sell it at Scooter Zone. Not not where it's at right now. Yeah. Just literally that grip, dude. That grip's terrible. The two things that they need to fit, or three things, are grips, not two slits, and a different clamp. Yeah, you, that two there's slit like thing. There's like the three main things that they need to fit. Oh, dude, but don't, that, that logo. Oh, yeah, no, they're solid on that, dude. Logo's, the logo's perfect. Yeah. What's next? I'll try Bry. You gonna try Bry too? Oh, wait, that's gonna be so weird with the grips. It's actually not that bad. It's not? No. I'm trying it straight. Get it. Bad. Fricky, 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 fricky. Do it, do it. I got scared. <laughs> it feels good. It's just the grips. The grips, dude. All right, I think it's time to do some upside down stuff. Have fun. Uh, back here, flare first. I, I said think, flare. Uh, flare first? Yeah. All right. Flare. One of these, my, my, I'm gonna do a flare. My grips could be like. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'd laugh so hard. If you were okay, though, of course. I'd laugh so hard to land it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I was actually scared of my grip doing that. Yeah, that was scary. I was actually nervous. I was like, what if that does happen? I was really nervous, actually. <laughs> flip? Yep. Flip whip? Yeah. All right. Going straight to it. It's getting worse. Listen. That's, that's a combination of the headset cap, the front bearing spacer, and the grips. So it's three things. And we've done five tricks. Let's get that flip whip really quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, I keep getting feet. my fingers on the metal thing. I'm putting my gloves on, bro. Damn, we're putting everything on now. New instruments at Rimmerworld.com. Bam. What's next? I don't know. Some air stuff? Yeah. All right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was catch. Damn. <laughs> it's so small, dude. Should I wall ride it? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that, that part is actually easier because I have shorter bars. Yeah. Bro, like, I'm thinking. I thought for a second. Bars are bent. They are? Yeah. Ready? Watch. Watch really closely. Watch on the top end. Why? It's slight. Yeah, but it's already. <laughs> all right, dude, it's all you. You're doing drops now. Yeah, with the bent, bent bars. bars <laughs> what are you gonna do? Jump that. Yeah, but what trick are you gonna do? I'm just gonna jump it first. You're just gonna jump it? Yeah, just to see how it feels down on drop. Deal. <laughs> it's not fun on small bars. Yeah, it's not fun at all. Man, let's go. All right, you, you could three it for sure. That can hurt. You could three it. Uh, Crucials. It felt like everything broke right there, dude. <laughs> like, on my scooter, it doesn't feel like that. On this, I felt like I floated for a while and just... Boom. Oh, it's all bad, dude. Uh, I'm done riding this thing. No, dude, we gotta get some more. You said you might for any. Might. My wrist still hurts from that, dude. I don't <laughs> wanna do that. You do realize we have to grind it a couple times, right? You do. That's fine. <laughs> I'm thinking a little something on this ledge right here and possibly something on the taller ledge in the back. Yeah? Yeah. Deal. What should I do right here? Like wit, feeble, heel out? And front board. Front board? Mm. Dang it. Rip. It was a good front board though. <laughs> it was. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! See what you made me do? Uh, yeah. See what you made me do? Oh, even. All right, cool. We're, we're even now. <laughs> I can't get my feet off, dude. <laughs> Couldn't get my foot off the brake, I almost died. Yeah, that brake is kind of big. He said he has to believe to achieve. Yep, yep, showing it on the scooter right now. Damn. The hype. Nice, dude. Oh, the flare. You didn't believe. <laughs> yeah. He's still going, though. Oh shoot, look at him go. He believed and he achieved. I believe on that one. Yeah. I got, should I French scoot something? Yeah. <laughs> For what? I don't want to. Once, let's try it once. Dude, the grips. Exactly, it's easier. It's not. Let's try it once. How about the hip, can we do the hip? You made me three the three block. You asked me to front scoot this box with a faulty grip. I asked you to do a 360. With faulty grips. And I exactly. completely forgot about it doing it. They didn't even know it was there. Hey, you always make me do stuff that I don't want to do. Do it. Do one thing. This uh, is one thing that I'm asking for. Jesus Christ. Do <laughs> one out of this first. All right, so he's going to do one out of that first. Oh, let's go. Box now. Yeah. Dude, almost cut my thumb. That's scary. Like, it's it's actually separating. You see it? Yeah, I do. Sketch. You can't even push it back together. You make me do all this, cut yeah, my finger, yeah, I'm going to lose yeah. a thumb. Nice. Ha! What? You got it. Good job. Oh, just because you caught it, you think you're all cool. I am cool. <laughs> I know I'm cool. My mom tells me every day. Good she says, you. son, you're so cool. Same. And I say, thanks, mom. Dude, that was sketch. It almost went sideways. Did you see that? Yeah, the way you caught it. Yeah, it was like odd. Yeah. I thought for a second I was going to loop out, but that's probably because the bars are 10 inches tall. Yeah, that's true. 
All right, our final thoughts on the scooter. What, what would you give the scooter on, on a scale of one to 10? I'd give it a six. I, I think I'm right around the same spot. Yeah. I, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking a five or a six. The whole upper section of, of the scooter is just, it's not good, it's trash. The bars are bent already. Grips, I mean, let me, let me scale back a little bit. The scooter's obviously not meant to do like too many crazy things, but it is in the same price range in between like a, an Envy Colt and um, an Envy Prodigy. So if you guys are looking to spend 175 bucks, I would just spend that extra 25 and get a Prodigy or save the 25 and, or 15 I should say, and get a Colt. Um, the Colt's a much better scooter. It doesn't have 125s, but it has 110s and they're just as fast. And the rest of the scooter is just built really well. You don't have these octagon grips. I'm telling you, like, if it wasn't for these octagon grips, it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, it wouldn't If it be. wasn't for the grips, just, I, I would probably give it closer to like, seven or six, eight. five, six, five or seven. Yeah, not an eight, eight's too high. That's a B, yeah, that's it does true. not have a B. But the bars are bent, the clamp is near touching and it's our first day of riding it. So I can only imagine if I had to tighten the compression twice, the clamp would pretty much be toast. The bars are bent, like I said, wheels are okay. Forks actually, it's kind of halfway decent. Um, it's got ICS compression, which is probably one of the most popular compression systems. It is the most popular compression system in the scootering world today. Grip tape's trash. It's yeah, really bad. Grip tape's not good. Grip tape, like, I, I couldn't keep my feet on to save my life on that ledge. And all I was yeah. trying to do was just move my feet around. I'm surprised I caught that front scoot as well as I did. Oh yeah, no, you caught it well. Yeah. Cause, well, it's probably because I slammed my foot down on it. Yeah. And then the graphics, 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. If you do get this scooter, you decide you want to give it a shot and you want to spend that 175 bucks, right away, I'm telling you. Don't. <laughs> get different grips. Get a different clamp. Um, different grip tape, for sure. The headset's okay. The only really good things on this are the wheels, fork, and deck. That's pretty much it. If you guys are looking to get the scoot, I would just say spend that little bit extra money and uh, get that Prodigy because if you don't, you are gonna have to spend another 15 bucks for grips and you're gonna have to spend another 30 for a clamp or 20 or 30 for a clamp. So you're already past that point. But um, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching us do scooter tricks on Amazon's most expensive, well, I'm gonna say amateur level scooter. And uh, like I said, lots of fun today here at the skate park. It's pretty early, so we're probably gonna film a couple more videos. So if you guys see me in this shirt, pants and shoes combination, um, I, I didn't just not change, it's the same day. Okay, thanks for that. All right guys, thanks for watching, much love. Appreciate you guys, until next time I'm out. Later.